Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to draw a picture. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh man. Smiley face and our eyeballs. Now we gotta uh, do the thing where we put the paint bucket in. E oh. Uh. There we go. All right, good. So in order to show some pictures in your game, the first thing you need to do is actually get a picture in your pictures folder. So let's go to game, open folder, go to the images, go to the pictures folder, and then place all the pictures we wish to use in here. So I'll just right click, paste, and there's our smiley picture. Now in some random event, on the second tab, you should find the show picture event, and this is where you can show your picture. So let's select the image section right here and select our smile picture. Hit OK and we'll be good to go. Let's set the X and Y something like, I don't even know, 300, 100, doesn't really matter. Set the origin to center and then we'll hit OK. And now when we interact with this event, boom! Our picture is right on the screen doing its doing its thing, just, just chilling out there. Now whenever you create a picture, it's given a specific ID as you can see right here. This one's ID is ID number one. Using this, we can reference it and move it and change it and do stuff with it. So say for example, we go back here, go back to the second tab and go to move picture. We can actually make it move and have some sort of animation. So we're going to do something like make it so picture one is going to their center, move to 300, 300. We're going to make it so their height goes to 50% and make it so their duration of this entire thing is going to be 120 frames. And we're going to wait for completion. And when we go talk with this event, we'll find that the picture moves down and also squishes like that. Now the reason that happened was because not only do we change the position, but we also changed the Y height scale during the entire thing. So what happened was it transitioned into the new form over a total of 120 frames, which is two seconds. So pretty much what you can do is you can take something like this that has all these properties and have it slowly shift into something like this with all these properties over the course of a certain amount of frames. So we can also do something like set the width to 200%, also set the blend mode to maybe like additive, and set the opacity maybe like something less, so maybe like, I don't know, 200, just a little bit. And once again, here's the results of our actions, and now it gets really weird. Oh man, wow, yeah, there it is. Now while we're at it, we can also talk about rotating a picture, which pretty much takes a picture and rotates it at a certain speed, so maybe like 20 for our speed. Now as you can see, after the move is complete, it'll start rotating like that. You can also tint the picture to just tint it to some other degree. So remember, doing picture out number one, we're going to tint it so it's going to have a lot of red, not so much green, and maybe a little blue, so it's like purpley. And then also set the grayscale scale to be something that doesn't even matter. We'll make the duration about 60 frames, and we'll set it to wait for completion. And now what will happen is we'll move, rotate, and then start changing its thing to, wow, just pure pink. There we go. Then finally, a very important thing is to remember that at the end of all this, you need to erase the picture, just get it out of the memory, just finish up, just get it off the screen, whatever. To do so, you simply do erase picture and then input the ID of the picture. So ID number one, like that. So we'll make it erase after a certain amount of, well, like maybe 60 frames, just like that. And now when we talk to this person, the picture will move, it'll rotate, it'll change its little uh, thing, and then it'll just be erased completely. Now I'm sure you're asking, oh, oh, this is cool, this is awesome, but like, what is the point of this? And the answer is a lot of stuff, actually. You can make character images appear during dialogue, just like this. Whenever you open a treasure chest, you can make the item appear just like this. Or as opposed to using show text to show what's on a sign, you just use a picture. Yeah! In order to make the character art appear, all I did was do create this image, make it appear at negative 400 of X, move it to the zero position, and then just play the dialogue. After the dialogue's over, we can actually move it back to its negative 400 position, just like this, and then we can end the entire thing by erasing the picture, just like that. And now when we talk to this person, it'll bring up the image, do the dialogue, and when we're done, it'll move the image back out, and then we can just move around again. For the chest, I did the same thing. I made it so I showed this image, I made it so the scale was zero width and zero height, then I moved it to 300% width and then 300% height, and then I just gave themselves the item. We can also make so at the very end, it also moves back down to 0%, so like this. Made the duration a lot faster, so maybe 20 frames. And then once again, we will erase a picture by going to erase picture and say, so picture ID 1 is erased. And so now when we get this potion, it'll appear up like that, then come back down, and then we're good to go. Yeah! Now once again, for the sign, I made it so I showed this picture, I made so the Y was really low by making it 999, and then I just moved it up to a normal position at a duration of 60 frames. Now what we want to do is actually make it so it goes back down after we hit the X button. To do so, let's create a loop. So we'll go to page one, we'll go to loop, 
and it'll continue looping like that. But in here, we'll do a conditional branch. It'll make it so when, let's see, button OK is pressed down, we will break out of the loop like this. Once the loop is broken out of, we'll actually move the picture back down. So let's copy this, move it back down to 999 like that. And then once again, we will erase this picture just like that. And now when we interact with the sign, it'll bring up the image. Then when we push the X button, the image will go back down. And yeah, that's about it. So as you can see, there's a wide variety of uses show picture events can use and do and stuff. So yeah, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed, you should give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more beginner tutorials. And uh, that's all for now. Until next time, RPG Maker Tutorial End.